Welcome to my full vlog in Singapore, folks. Let's learn about the culture and see beautiful sightseeing spots. Hello everyone, it's me again, the Filipino Wonder. I am now on my way to leave the Philippines. It's 1 a.m. in the morning and I don't want to be late to catch my flight. And I'm so super excited. How crazy it is that I waited for three hours before boarding. Boarding time, let's go! Of course, we shouldn't forget to take a video of this aisle. from Cebu to Manila I can't wait to ride again but of course my heart keep pounding because I'm worried that I might not be approved by immigration and yes we got approved thank you Philippine Airlines for the awesome ride it's just very crazy that I've been coughing the whole time I'm very embarrassed everybody wow welcome to Singapore when I got there guys I couldn't believe how awesome Singapore's airport is did you know it's one of the best in the world? Singapore Changi Airport is super famous being amazing. It's got everything you need to have a great time while you wait for your flight. There are cool buildings, lot of shops, gardens, fun stuff to do, and yummy food. It's like a mini city inside an airport. From the huge indoor waterfall, Jewel Changi Airport is the easy ways to get around. Singapore Changi Airport is definitely something special everybody. Guys, this is kind of unbelievable. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Guys, I'm sorry, I don't really know what, where we're gonna go. Where is the exit? <laughs> this is a big area. And then it's like my mind is like, I want to stay here for a while. <laughs> so guys, I'm just walking a grab, guys. Although it, um, it's, um, the amount of it, it's like, it cost me $20.60 dollar, um, a Singaporean dollar. And yeah, it's just worth it because <laughs> it feels like, you know, I'm safe and then I don't know also the area so it's better so maybe later I'm gonna walk around no, no need pass just walk <laughs> During my first afternoon in Singapore, I was just strolling around, going wherever my feet took me. I found shops, market, and they were very similar to those in the Philippines. I am really unsure what is my opinion about here, but I can tell that it's pretty nice here, and the it's really look nice, like very modern type you know but i just don't understand some of their words uh, <laughs> i can only understand english if it's possible <laughs> but it's fine i'm enjoying myself here <laughs> there you guys looks the food there so i'm so really i know guys i one thing that i really don't really like is that <laughs> oh my god there is no rice like earlier i went to the mcdonald's and then there is no rice because usually the mcdonald's there you know whenever we go they always have the rice but it's just my first time eating without rice so yeah that's what it feels like new to me okay guys so one thing i realized is actually there is a similarities between a Phil, I'm a Philippines and here in Singapore. But one thing that I've like I've seen so much here is like 
there's more a lot of Indian people here not working because most of the establishment and um, in Philippines most of the people working is they are Filipino so I think like it feels like something new to me but yeah it's just maybe it got a new into the situation Cream and coffee but I don't like coffee I am not really sure guys I think I need to go straight yeah at the, and this time guys it's almost 7 p.m. guys but still you know hi guys today is our day one here in Singapore so get ready with me Uh, my our first location is Fort Canning Park so let's go there it's actually 12 minutes away from here so let's go After 12 minutes of walking, we finally arrive in Fort Canning Park. Fort Canning Park is really important place in Singapore. Why? So here's why it's so cool. So first is history. People have cared about this place since the 14th century. It is used to be called Forbidden Hill and was a big deal for Malay kings and British soldiers. Interesting stuff. This is the second one why it is really cool Because of the interesting stuff you can find all things here like the Singapore stone with ancient writing and parts of old forts that British built The third one is the fun events There's always something happening here. You can go to concerts art shows and festivals all year People from all over come to join in the fun. Fourth is nature. Even though it's right in the city, the park is full of trees, paths, and gardens. It's a great place to relax and see the city from up high. Fifth is things to do. You can have picnic, go jogging, or even do yoga here. And there are playgrounds for kids to play in. Next is learning time. If you're interested in history, you can take a tour to learn more about the park and all the cool stuff that's happened here. Next is special celebration. Lots of people have weddings and parties here because it's so pretty and peaceful. So Fort Canning Park is not just a place with a lot of history. It's also a place where you can have fun, enjoy nature, and learn new things right in the middle of busy Singapore. Hi guys, so I think I need to go back now because I feel tired and I need to go somewhere, somewhere to eat. Yeah, and I need to change money as well because the money is not that. 
bigger in our cars, so we need to change. But I mean, so I think like two more. Head east. It's time for us to go back. I'm gonna show you. I just didn't use my gimbal. So guys, actually there is a Fort Canning Tunnel, but unfortunately I can't. Um, I can go there. There's a lot of line, so just taking video. Marina Bay viewing. So let's go, guys. This is actually afternoon walks. <laughs> Finally, there is rice, but I'm not really used in the food, so I would say 6 over 10 for me. My total meal is $20. On the third day of exploration, I encountered what some call the mini Dubai in Singapore. So here's what you found in the vibrant area. First is the iconic skyscrapers, just like Dubai. Singapore's mini Dubai features impressive skyscrapers that dominate the skyline this modern architectural marvel showcases the city's ambition and innovation and of course don't miss out the train ride Don't miss out to visit the Marina Bay building everybody it's really nice in there really awesome where you can see the whole city and but it's quite a bit uh, expensive but it's just worth it because it's really nice when you're already on the top of it and they have a lot of food welcome to Sentosa Island of Singapore is a renowned tourist destination known for its exciting attraction. One of the largest aquarium around the world is located in Sentosa Island. 
is a, a aquarium or sea aquarium. Explore the fascinating underwater world at the SEA Aquarium, one of the largest aquariums in the world. Here you can marvel at diverse marine life including sharks, rays, and colorful fish in immersive exhibits and habitats. The SEA Aquarium in Sentosa, Singapore is one of the largest aquariums in the world and we all know that, right? So it is a home to a vast array of marine life including over 100,000 marine animals from more than 1,000 species. The aquarium's expansive exhibits feature diverse ecosystems, immersive displays, and educational experiences, making it a popular attraction for visitors of all ages. While exact rankings can vary depending on criteria such as total water volume or number of species, the SEE Aquarium consistently ranks among the world top aquariums in terms of size and diversity of marine life. Sentosa Skyland Luge and Skyride experience an adrenaline filled ride on the Skyland Luge and unique gravity powered karting track and enjoy scenic views of Sentosa's Island from the Skyride cable car. I am now on my way back to the airport. I'm leaving Singapore now. I feel sad. I just booked a grab and then going to the airport so that I won't miss my flight. So here we go. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, guys. It feels like I'm gonna miss Singapore. Oh, I wish I have one month living here. I wish I could survive one month living here. It's only this time, guys. It's still like 6 30 p.m. But it's still, you know, clear. So it's not yet night time. So you can see here, right? I feel so sad, very, very sad. Mm. Uh -huh. 